Omaha Chamber selects its new president and CEO. The chamber named Veda Jeffrey to fill that role. Jeffrey will succeed David Brown, who is retiring next month. Brown led the chamber for nearly 20 years. Under his tenure, the region's GDP grew by nearly 90 percent. And since 2014, the chamber's nearly 1,000 landed projects have created 47,000 jobs and brought in $12 billion worth of investment in the metro. KETV News Watch 7's Catherine Garcia spoke to his successor on how she plans to keep the momentum going. Meet the new face of Omaha's Chamber of Commerce. A St. Louis native, Vita Jeffrey's resume stretches from banking and financial services to workforce development and diversity outreach. Selection Committee Chair Leslie Anderson says the Chamber is proud of its pick after a year-long search. Well, we needed somebody to be very strategic. Um, Omaha's got a lot of great things going on, and we needed somebody to be able to take take the ball and run with it, but also be able to take in a lot of information to help make data-driven decisions and actionable steps. Jeffrey plans to expand public-private partnerships and retain and recruit more people into Omaha's workforce. It's a great landscape to be able to look forward for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years and be able to still carve out a lot of great things to attract new people, new businesses, new families, new opportunities to the area. Jeffrey is the first woman and the first person of color to serve as chamber president. By bringing diversity to the table, it allows us to consider things that may not have been considered before. Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Director Del Nair Jr. calls this a historic moment for Omaha. But just excited for what the opportunity this brings to our community and how she's going to elevate the practices that we currently have in place, but also figure out how she actually wants to set her um, feet here and also what she's going to bring to the table. The Greater Omaha Chamber says there are no exact thresholds for Jeffrey to meet in the first few years in the job. Instead, she'll follow the Chamber's current strategic plan to revitalize Omaha's workforce and economy by the year 2040. Catherine Garcia, KETV, Newswatch 7.